What is up, my dudes? Welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be ranking all count off this guy as well. From the, um, all 12 of them, from the dumbest to the smart, well, actually, not really dumbest to smart, from the most obvious disguises to the least obvious. Well, all, I think in Mr. Poe's mind, all disguises are good. Like, Mr. Poe can honestly get fooled by any count all of this guys, but it's all about how much they fool me. Uh, I mean, at number 12, we have count all of Jacques Snicket disguise. In my opinion, this disguise was literally the most, um, obvious count, it's so obvious that that's count all of It's just count all of with his hair done differently, like. I don't know, man. That that feels a bit um feels a bit obvious, you know. At number eleven, we have Count Olaf's kit sneaker disguise. I mean, it's so obvious that it's Count Olaf just with a bunch of tree wigs in his hair. At number ten, we have Count Olaf's Coach Genghis disguise. Now this one is kind of weird. Like I like Jack Snicket and Kit Snicket, which weren't really some of his main disguises. This did actually count in the main disguise category. So I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> That's Count Olaf. Just try and all you have to do is pitch a Count Olaf. With a turban, and that's what you get. Like, you know, like it's really not that much of a disguise. At number nine, we have uh, Count Olaf's Doctor Medical School, Matter of Ice Medical School disguise. And for me, this disguise is just so, so obvious. Like, I mean, just look at that. Like, he, you can, the only thing that's really like new is his, like, his glasses, I guess, and the thing around his head. At number um, eight, we have his dad disguise. So, this one, in my opinion, is a bit less obvious than the others just because of how, how chippy he looks. Like, you know. Very chipper. But hey, I'm gonna put him over here. At number seven, we have the bartender disguise. Now, he does look a little bit more old with this disguise on, if you get what I'm saying. I like the dad one where he looks, actually looks younger. But, um, yeah, the bartender disguise. Uh, Howdy, how can, how can I get for you two strangers who I've never seen before? I don't like the voice, but you know. I mean, apart from that, you could definitely tell that he's pretty greasy and, you know, not the richest man. Uh, at number, um, at number five we have at number six we have Jessica haircut. Now I will say that none of the disguises so far really are that um really are aren't that unobvious. Like this is still a pretty obvious disguise. It's just put a little bit of makeup on and um you can still see his uh his disgusting teeth and stuff and um I mean just just look at that like yeah, it's just a bit of a makeover. At number five on Wallace we have Detective Dupont, you can still use these rotten teeth. And he talks like this, and a little cool cat going down like that. I mean, he does have a little bit more going for him. And number four on the list, we have Captain Sham, which is a pretty cool disguise. I mean, not really cool, but, but yeah, like, yeah, Captain Sham was really funny. Just he, he just looks funny, if you ask me. Like, you got that pig leg, which is pretty cool, to be honest. I really did admire the pig leg. I felt more like the pig leg was, um, you know, like, it was, it was pretty sad. It was pretty, I guess, the most, you know, the most... Um, the most unobvious thing about this disguise, you can still see that Count Olaf look in his face. You can definitely tell by that. His hairstyle kind of looks like my grandpa a bit <laughs> weird. Um, the eye patch, I guess, changes things up a little bit, and the uh, smoke pipe, smoking pipe, does change things up a bit. The third most unobvious disguise. Sorry, this picture is a bit blurry, but we have Gunther. So Gunther, just a little bit more unobvious. The hairstyle was just completely, completely different to Count Olaf's is. And the way he dresses up is a lot more fashionable than, than what you often see Count Olaf wearing. The second most unobvious disguise is Steph Arnold. I mean, you can see that Neil Patrick Harris kind of look at his face. But I think, think apart from that, this one could definitely fool quite a bit of the majority of people. Like, when I actually first watched The Reptile Room, I honestly couldn't even tell if this was him. Like, most disguises I can tell. But uh, this disguise and the other disguise you have in front of it are the only disguises that actually fooled me, right? Like... You know, and I, and I just love Stefano's voice. I think Stefano probably is my favorite disguise. Like, he's so funny. Hello, my name is Stefano. It's just such a funny disguise. Absolutely love this disguise. At number one, we have Shirley St. Ives because, you know, this one's actually non jet I mean, I, I think the Kid Snicket one uh, also um, um, comes out as female. But this female disguise, I actually fooled me for a second. I actually thought it was a proper female who turned out to be Dr. Orwell's receptionist when first watching this. And, um, yeah, so I feel like Shirley and Stefano were the only disguises that actually fooled me. I could even tell Gump good for a little bit. But, yeah, uh, so that's me for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.